and welcome to the Lake Elmo Library, part of the Washington County Library System. My name is Leah and I'm a librarian here. Well, Winter Reads is here and to celebrate, I've compiled a list of books that were technically written for kids, but I think that adults would enjoy too. And as most of you know, the more books that you read and review, the better your chances are of winning a grand prize. And I don't know about you, but I can read two to three children's books in the time it takes me to finish an adult one. So I don't know if you know where I'm going there, but more entries equals better chances. So without further ado, here are my selections of children's books that were originally, that books that were originally written for children, excuse me, uh, that I think adults would enjoy as well. My first choice is Ghost Boys by Jewel Parker Rhodes. This book is extremely relevant with the Black Lives Matter movement as well as the murder of George Floyd. Uh, this book follows the story of Jerome who was shot and killed by a police officer who had mistaken his toy gun for a real one. Uh, it follows Jerome, um, Jerome as he sees uh, the effects of his death on his community and his family. Uh, Jerome also meets a young ghost boy named Emmett Till who helps him process his death. And then um, also Sarah, the daughter of um, the police officer who shot and killed Jerome. Um, this book moved me deeply and it absolutely made me sob. Uh, so if you like books about social justice or if you like books that make you cry, Ghost Boys is for you. My next selection is Inside Out and Back Again. It has won uh, a National Book Award as well as two Newbery Honors. Uh, this book was written in verse, so it's even less of a time commitment than my other um, juvenile fiction selections. Uh, this is the story of Ha and Ha's journey from Saigon, Vietnam to Alabama as a refugee of the Vietnam War. Um, if you like books written in verse, or if you like stories about refugees, then Inside Out and Back Again by Tang Ha Lai is for you. My next selection is How I Became a Ghost by Tim Tingle. Um, like Ghost Boys, this is a story of a ghost boy. And like Inside Out and Back Again, this is a work of historical fiction. Um, this is the story of Isaac, who um, did not survive the Trail of Tears when his family was removed from their home in Mississippi. Um, this book has some aspects of unbelievableness or fantasy. Um, don't let that deter you from reading it because it truly does add to the progression of the story. It's not just a trope that's there for no reason. Um, so do not let those aspects deter you from reading this very high quality storytelling book. I would recommend this book for people who like historical fiction or people who like really high quality storytelling. My next choice is one of the most challenged books of 2017, George by Alex Gino. Alex Gino is a member of the LGBTQIA plus community. Um, and George is the story of George. Um, and everyone around George thinks that she is a boy, but George knows that she is a girl. And this book follows the story of George wanting to play the part of Charlotte in their fourth grade school play, Charlotte's Web. Um, George is actually told that she cannot play Charlotte because she is a boy. But as we know, George knows that she is a girl. So the story follows George um, and leading up to the play, the play itself, and the aftermath of the play. Um, I would say that this book is for anyone who likes a really great underdog story or someone who wants to understand more of what it's like to be trans. And um, I will say personally that this book made me feel extremely empathetic to our LGBTQIA plus brothers, sisters, and neighbors. So if, if you're looking for a great book um, about the LGBTQIA community, specifically trans people or trans youth, George is for you. My next selection is Hello Universe by Erin Entrada Kelly. Um, it has won a Newbery Award. Uh, this book follows four middle school aged kids and a series of events that intertwines their lives um, during uh, summer break. 
um, the overarching theme of this book would be fate versus free will. I would say that this book is for anyone who enjoys um, a book about lovable characters, uh, unlikely friendships, or even backyard adventures. One of my favorites, I have to say. And my final selection is The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. Kelly Barnhill is a Minnesota, is a Minnesota local. Um, and this book won a Newbery Medal. Um, this book is about a girl who is given to a witch as a sacrifice only to be raised by said witch and then accidentally given extraordinary powers and alas, adventure ensues. Um, if there's one word I could give you to describe the ending of this book without giving it away, don't worry, I'm not going to give it away, I, that word would be crescendo. Um, this book is a book of fantasy and folklore, so anybody who likes fantasy and folklore I think would enjoy this book, um, or someone who likes local authors. So that concludes my list of books that were originally written for kids that I think adults would enjoy. And happy winter reads, everyone.